got a problem here with our hay head. I think we broke one of the shafts here that have the pickup teeth on it. You can see it's all floppy where the other half isn't. So <clears throat> we're gonna pull it apart and see what's going on. Can't really see much, but we're gonna take off all the strippers. There's just two bolts on the top and two bolts on the bottom, half inch. So we're gonna go on down the line, pull all those off so we can see what's going on. So I got a bunch of these tore apart the top parts, but then I was looking down in there. I think we found what caught. There's a tooth that came off right there. And I'm sure when it came around, it caught. It must have broke something. So we got a bunch of these taken off and we did find the problem. It is, the shaft is broke broke right at there's a cotter key that goes through that holds the bearing in place and it broke right there so i'm gonna see if we can either weld it up which is probably not the right way to do it or maybe we'll have to get a new shaft for it but it goes all the way through it's got all the teeth on it. it's a real pain so the thought is we'll weld it up and grind it down and hopefully it'll hold so i was just looking at this i don't know why i didn't think of this before but in order, so I don't have to weld it, I'm going to actually just take a piece of thread rod that I cut and I'm going to put slide down in through there and then drill the holes through the threaded rod. It'll be stronger anyway. So I don't know. I, was, I guess sometimes it does some good to get some sleep and then to figure these things out. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Slide her in there. It'll be kind of a pain trying to slide it back to get everything to line up. Otherwise, you got to pull it completely apart, I guess, which wouldn't be the end of the world here. Just so everything, so I can slide this piece back through, so it's halfway through both rods, both pieces of the shaft. I guess the shaft is uh, hollow, so that makes it possible. So I got the thread rod fished in there. You can just see it there. I forgot to put this bearing on first, so of course I had to tear it back apart and do it again. So we can see that these are pointing up and these are pointing down, so we're going to get them lined up properly, and then we'll drill the holes three holes through there, one for this tine, one for the bearing, and then one right over here, can't see it, for the other tine. So I got the three holes drilled here, now we're going to slide it in. Okay, so we got everything fixed here, everything's good and tight, we had actually two of them were broke, so I didn't realize that, but we replaced a couple of teeth that were busted. And now we're just going to put the strippers back on and piled up here. And shouldn't be too bad. We just use these little, they're almost like self tappers that go in there. Hold the strippers on. Not too big of a deal. So hopefully we can be chopping yet tomorrow morning. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it.